How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be comparing the logging policies and user data storage uh, of both ExpressVPN and NordVPN. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. So both ExpressVPN and NordVPN have strict no logging policies, and they do not store identifiable user data. That means none of your online activities can be traced back to you. And especially with ExpressVPN. This has been exemplified in the 2017 case where the Turkish authorities seized an ExpressVPN server forcefully, of course, as part of an investigation with regards to the assassination of Russian ambassador at the time. And of course, thanks to the ExpressVPN no logging policy, they were not able to extract any information with regards to the person they were investigating, who apparently used ExpressVPN to hide his Gmail. Now, almost all VPNs claim to have a strict no logging policy, and NordVPN and ExpressVPN are no different. But I was confused about what that really means. When I dug deeper into other services' privacy policies, I found that some record users' IP addresses, browsing history, and more. I don't like the idea of VPNs keeping such extensive private data. To me, it sounds like they want to sell my information to advertisers, which is totally against why I want to use a VPN in the first place. So I investigated both uh, ExpressVPN and NordVPN's policies uh, and discovered that they mean it when they say they don't keep any logs, specifically, of course, with ExpressVPN with the Turkish uh, example or incident that I mentioned, not to mention that they are both actually audited, fully audited. They have their no log policies uh, audited by uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers. And uh, yeah, both NordVPN and ExpressVPN resulted in very good standings uh, with regards to the results and conclusions of such audits. Neither provider records your IP address, DNS queries, browsing history, traffic destination, or file downloads and uploads. The only slight difference is that ExpressVPN logs your account ID, connection date, not time, uh, amount of data transferred, and location connected to and from. Since this can't be linked back to you, I don't think it's a big deal. And with regards to linking back to the information, of course, ExpressVPN uses shared IPs. This is, you know, good VPNs will do that. They use shared IPs, so uh, you'll have many users using the same IP, so nothing can truly be linked back to one specific uh, user, even if information information were to be extracted. Not just that, ExpressVPN uses trusted servers, which are RAM-based servers. Uh, NordVPN does use that to some extent, but not all the servers, whereas ExpressVPN's servers, their, their entire server network uh, uses RAM servers instead of hard drives. So there's literally just no physical drive to store data in. Uh, very little data is stored on RAMs, and everything on a RAM drive will be erased with every machine reboot, which happen quite often. And of course, there's perfect forward secrecy. And what perfect forward secrecy does is that it resets the keys for every session, uh, right about 60 minutes. So even if a hacker was able to uh, crack one of your sessions, all they will be getting is 60 minutes of data. Since the keys to your sessions while you're in Express VPN servers uh, are always being scrambled and reset. And as I mentioned before, both VPNs are very serious about their no log policies that they have undergone independent audits by cybersecurity experts, uh, multiple independent audits, in fact. Most VPN providers really uh, will not uh, be willing let's say, to put their network and reputation under such heavy scrutiny, whereas ExpressVPN and NordVPN never really shied away from that and were verified by PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, that their no logging practices are consistent with their policies, especially in ExpressVPN's case uh, with the real life example, which constitutes further evidence that you can trust ExpressVPN's no logging policy. Now, with regards to user data storage, both VPNs store some basic information about you like your email address name and payment method which is very standard in order to process payments and such uh, because they allow you to renew your subscription to prevent service interruptions and of course you are still able to pay through cryptocurrency so if that's something you're interested in uh, it is an available option and even if you just go through the basic credit card uh, payment method none of this data can be linked back to what you do online however if you want to stay 100 anonymous you can use a fake email address and pay for either 
their service with a prepaid card or cryptocurrencies. Ultimately, when it comes to logging policy and user data storage, I think both ExpressVPN and NordVPN uh, show exemplary behavior when it comes to their uh, logging policies and user data storage, and of course, upholding the integrity uh, of their privacy policies. So again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. I'll give you more of an in-depth look into the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, keep in mind that you are able to uh, get yourself a refund within the first 30 days all you have to do uh, is go to their website as i am right here hover over the bottom right both in express and nordvpn and you'll be able to access actually just go to nordvpn right here and you'll be able to access the live chat support it really is as simple as that and you can ask them for your refund or whatever other question you might be having or trouble uh, with your uh, vpn client besides that thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day